Hey Frontliners, Dan here for Comic Frontline, and we are going to be reviewing Essex County Collected. So this is a big book, and it collects, I guess, three Essex County trades that came out, or graphic novels that came out. Um... I'd heard good things about it. I hadn't gotten around to reading it until just now, uh, or just recently. And I have to say, I thoroughly enjoyed it. This is going to be a 5 out of 5 stars. I'm jumping to the beginning with my stars, uh, it seems, on some of these reviews. Um, I'll point out right now that I am a uh, comic book uh, publisher. So, um... I make no bones about being an expert reviewer. I'm not going to perhaps have your uh, Entertainment Tonight delivery or, uh, you know, try to be a uh, late night host or anything. I'm just giving you some thoughts on some books that I've read. So, uh, all right. Essex County. Let's see how they break this up. Uh, let's see. Because there are three books in this. Introduction by Darwin Cook. Book one, Tales from the Farm. Oh, here we go. Book two, Ghost Stories. Book three, The Count, the Country Nurse. And then I believe there are some extras. The Essex County Boxing Club. The Sad and Lonely Life of Eddie Elephant Ears. And barnyard scraps. Um, all right, so I'm gonna have to just flip through this to give me a little review. All right, book one, tales from the farm. Uh, basically, this kid here with the cape. He's kind of like the uh, main character. In that chapter, can't open this up too much of the big collection like this. You don't want to break the binding. Um, let's see. I mean, again, spoilers on this. So if you haven't read Essex County, and I'm not going to give the big spoiler at the end. But I will give some spoilers as to what the story is about. So, uh, Lester is that kid with the cape and the mask. And basically, his mother had passed. He's living with his uncle. Much of the story is centered around the strained relationship between Lester and his uncle. Um, the art style is great for this trade. Okay, if you're a big two zombie and you only want to see a superhero art style, then perhaps it's going to be something that you're not going to uh, be enamored with. But if you have a bit of an open mind, it really serves the story well. Um, Lester does share an interest that many of us have in drawing comics. Um... And a good amount of this is about farm life. These books take place in Essex County, which is actually uh, in Canada, which author Jeff Lemire is from. Um, and we're even treated to checking out Lester's comics within the book. Might remind some of you of your homemade comics from when you were a little kid. Uh, and I guess what really stands out in Essex County, all the books, are the characters. The characterization is great. The uh, interplay between the characters and uh, 
these nuggets that tie a lot of these characters together um, is extremely well done. Um, so, I mean, again, right at the beginning, I had given it five out of five stars. And, you know, the way the uh, stories are crafted, um, that really speaks to my rating it as such. Uh, let's see. Now, book two, Ghost Stories, kind of centers on these two brothers who play hockey, and it goes through a good deal of their life from their younger life to their older years. Um, perhaps my favorite of the bunch, actually, actually uh, within these three volumes. Um, I do have my uh, brother-in-law and nephew who play hockey, so I even kind of uh, play with the idea of lending this to them. Uh, you know, some people just feel like, oh, comics aren't going to be for me, of course, and they're more than willing to say how great the uh, Avengers movie is or something, but they have a hard time uh, getting past the fact that they feel like they are perhaps reading uh, something not uh, of their educational level. Uh, I always remember hearing a while back, or actually it might have been a cartoon strip that I saw, where you have a, a person who says words, and then the other person says literature, and then the other person says uh, pictures, and then the person says art, and then the other person says words and pictures, and then the other person says trash. So there's always been that, you know, when you combine the two somehow, it's going to equate to a juvenile entertainment. But anyone who's read this book, Essex County, knows that is not the fact. You know, I think the, the stigma has been lost quite a while ago, but that, there are still those who uh, it remains with. All right. So, um... Again, throughout this uh, story, we just go through many years, family members and such, of these brothers. Um, it's really hard to encapsulate what this uh, story gives you. But let me just say this. As big a collection as this is, See, mine came with a nice little match marker line. Um, as big a collection as this is, it reads extremely fast. So uh, you might be able to do this in one very long sitting, two medium long sittings, or uh, three not so long sittings. I mean, you can really fly through this um, because they don't really try to overburden you with the dialogue. There's more dialogue than that, but on occasion there's just, you know, bare minimum of dialogue. Um, so all in all, again, uh, it just reads very well. It's the type of thing that you just want to keep reading to see what happens. Um, now let me get to that last part here. The country nurse. Okay, the country nurse revolves around the country nurse. I do forget her name at this point, because I have read some books since. But, needless to say, she appears in uh, an earlier story. And this story really ties up uh, all the characters 
in the previous stories really kind of ties a lot of them together in ways that you might have put together by now or may not have. Um, and where is it now? One of my favorite things within this book is right here. Spoiler on this. I don't think you'll be able to look that closely. You kind of get like a family tree on some of the characters that are throughout this book. Um, then the Essex County Boxing Club follows that. Again, it's a type of story that spans a number of years. Um, which, again, we can't really do much in Marvel and DC. A lot of times, you know, we'll get Spider-Man 2099 or something. But uh, we never really see the aging of characters, which uh, might be an uh, advantage of graphic novels. Um, especially since a lot of these characters aren't like franchises or something. Um, all right, Eddie Elfineers, we get that story, and then we get some extras here. Um, yeah, I'll wrap it up on that. Just get a bunch of extras. Uh, but I will, again, Highly recommend this Essex County. Uh, again, you can get the collected version. It'll have everything in there for you. Um, and I can't imagine anyone not thoroughly enjoying this book. So that'll do it for this uh, review. And keep coming back to Comic Frontline for all your comics, news, reviews, and entertainment. Feel free to check out my own channel, Argo Comics, A-R-G-O Comics, in uh, YouTube. Thanks a lot.